G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are back to continue our Anywhere, Anytime series in today 14, a day that is normally, well, a horde day, normally there's a bunch of zombies showing up tonight, but for this series, that's not the case, because zombies can show up at any point and start beating down all my walls, so I need to make sure that those walls are as good as possible, that is kind of like one of my main objectives for some point today is to go and do the last finishing touches on my backyard fence the last part of my exterior walls that aren't particularly strong and zombies could definitely get through pretty bloody quickly so that is on my mind but so is the fact that i never found that forge book again i'm ruining my mistakes but i'm not perfect i make mistakes quite often actually as you guys well know so i think i'm gonna have to to get around it, I'm going to have to spend some of my skill points here. Um, only cost me one point on Big Forge. Give me that. I still have three skill points as well. So let's go. I can't do any more in gun crafting. I think some science crafting, probably not a bad idea. Plus it decreases crafting time. Let's get like tier two on those. And I think maybe even the last one. Is there anything else in here that's particularly tempting? Oh, I could. I've already got P2025 crafting. Can I buy myself, actually? I could try and rely on the RNG of finding the recipe to make a Winchester rifle. Or, if I'm hedging my bets and just buying things anyway, I may as well buy myself, effectively, a better gun. So, give me that one, too. I know that from yesterday, I do have the gubs to make myself a Winchester rifle. I need you. Rifle parts, rifle barrel. That's all that I need. I think you get made in this one. Is a Winchester rifle. No, just the regular workbench. All right, no whackers, knackers. Winchester rifle. Got my XP goggles on. Yep, I'm going to take one minute. But tier 41 winning. <laughs> it's a winnie blue. It's meant to be. So now that I am rolling with the Winchester, I'm going to swap it out for my bow and arrows. You can go into there. It will need some mods on it as well. Let's get the 8x scope mod because it's going to be a rifle. May as well put the best scope I have on. Uh, I, I've got to turn the science off my pistol, actually. Modify you. I mean, you're still going to be pretty decent. You've still got some other sights on you anyway, so you shouldn't be too hamstrung by this. Hopefully, you'll forgive me down the road. Still going to rely on my pistol pretty regularly, I think, when things get a little bit dicey. There is the morning chime. Always a welcome sight. Um, not really anything else in here to go in the Winchester. Okay, that's all right. But even so, a silent sniper rifle, rocking and rolling and murdering zombies while they sleep. That sounds like a good time to me. Modify you. Bang and bang. The first purple die I find will go straight into you. Oh, look at you. You and I are going to have a wonderful time together. I just know it. Here we go. Up and Adam out of the walls. There's a bunch of goopy body remains all around the place because I feel like the trading guards had an absolute time last night. Oh, wow. It's real, like, it's real touchy, but that's okay. Nice and quiet and murdery. Just how a Winchester rifle should be. So, let's go do the quest over at the old fire station real quick. I still have to go see Trader Potato. I think today is a trading restock day, and I would very much like to uh, purchase anything of note from him. You watch him have that Bloody Forge book, too. Now that I've spent the skill points, you... If I find that book today, I'm going to be a little bit mad. Like someone poured a little bit too much salt on my freshly fried french fries. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get cracking. Winchester, how you feeling? You feeling good today? I hope so. One there. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be easy. We're going to have a time. I think it's actually someone upstairs who is... Oh, yeah, there we go. People upstairs have woken up, so I'm pretty right to just carry on with my baseball bat. G'day, bud. You too. I mean... Oh, that's it. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I should have reloaded you before things got really dicey. Close that behind me so that all zombies come to the front door. All right. That wasn't particularly fantastic. Let's see if Dubsy's still got up to scratch, though. Wait for the hit. There you go. Oh, does Dubsy have enough to scratch? Decapitator one and murdered his friend. Dubsy, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. All right, I'll murder the rest of these clouds first, and then I'll go looting all the stuff. Yep, you're dead. We're fine. Shotguns out, boys. It's time to go. Just trying to keep an eye out for any extra ferals that might be around. That one's just a regular Jeffrey. 
So we're used nothing too much to worry about just yet, but I don't want to get complacent and suddenly get snuck up on by the speedy boys of death. So I would like to keep my head on a swivel just a little bit. Although I think... Never mind. I was going to say, I think this place is now empty. It definitely, definitely wasn't. I need the spider to stick his face through because I normally do. Come on, there you go. Missed it. Try again. Missed it. There we go. Okay, now that you're down... Can I open you? Guy behind us here with Feral. Fair enough. I missed both shots with Dubsy. Started that, put my face back in Dubsy, and he let me down, as he always does. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. I think that's everybody. All right, nice. Looting gogs on. Let's go get the loot downstairs first and work our way through. Come on, shiny things. I've turned my look sensitivity down just a little bit because I feel like it was getting way too out of control. Oh, what are you? Mini box of dumb shits. I can scrap you. I don't need to read you again because I've definitely read you before. Bonk. Open you up with my new best friend, the crowbar. So glad I found a crowbar. I missed it. For the time I was going without it, I really missed having it in my hot little hands. But now I have it back. It's like you never bloody left. Nothing in you. Nothing in... Ooh. Ah, scrap you. That's fine. Also got a bunch of boxes in here. I'm excited to get through. But we'll start in the offices and work our way into the den in a second. So far, nothing especially fun or good. August schematic. I'll definitely read you because I've been really regretting not reading certain books lately. So I'll read that one just in case I make an auger at some point. That's the wrong kind of purple. So I'll scrap. I'll scrap one. I won't scrap you though. I'll keep my sweet purple jacket on. But you are actually worth quite a bit of coins. So I'll keep you on me. 13 paper. I'll bust my way into you in a second. But quickly going to run out into the uh, into the garage out here. And break down all of these things. I'll do the gun safe last. Just try and um, work up my loot appetite and everything else first. Jeez, not finding anything. Nothing in here has been fun at all. I'm... Finding drips and drabs and nothing. Button, and that's really about it. Was there something up on the roof of this place? I don't especially remember. It's been a long time since I raided the old school fireplace. Like back in Alpha 16, this was the normal fire station. Anything up here? Nothing. Oh, jeez. Don't go throw me off the roof, though, please. Nope. It's all, uh, it's all pretty vacant. All right. I guess it's just me and the gun safe, then. Let's go crack it open and see what's inside. Like a particularly runny yolk. Because that's how all eggs should be for brunch. I want it. I can't. You know what? Let's do something really silly. Oh, it's a bad decision. <laughs> this is a really bad decision, but I want the steel. I could have just gone back to the ground, been a sensible person, and built a, a nerd pole up to climb up here that way. But no, I had to be a pelican and jump out here onto a ledge. This is silly. This is really silly. Oh, oh I made it back. Okay. No, don't risk it for the other ones, Josh. Just go back down to the ground before you get yourself killed. Why do I do these things? This is how I'm going to die in the apocalypse. Not the zombies. Not, you know, the infection or whatever else is going on in this world right now. Just me being an absolute galah is going to get myself skittled at some point. I'm my own worst enemy at every step of the way, and I never bloody learn. This is going to be another one of those times where I break all of my lockpicks in the world, trying to get into one gun safe, and it doesn't actually give me anything anyway. How many lockpicks do I break before I give up and start beating the uh, the thing to death with a pickaxe? I don't think it's much longer than what I've gone through already. Give me the zeros. There we go. Nice. Thank you very much. Now, please, pretty please, give me something good. What have you got for me? Oh, another Winchester rifle or receiver. Oh, but you also gave me a marksman rifle. Are you... No, you're not even close. The Winchester is definitely better. The spot being a lower tier, it's and a lower caliber. How is a 762 marksman rifle spitting out 72 range damage when the Winchester, even without its mods, is doing 82 with a 44? I don't know, but I'm not gonna complain too much because you're worth lots of dollar do, so give me that. You guys are less impressive, but I'll take all of that. You know what? Not complaining. That actually wasn't half bad. Not bad, Squishy. Thank you very much, Fire Station. Uh, it was just a clear quest, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, I'm good to go talk to Trader Potato then and see what he's got for me. No one else around. No, we're all looking pretty spiffy. All right, Trader Jeffrey, you'll never guess what. I finally did what you asked me to. It was literally just down the road. Here we go, my guy. What is up? I mean, not quite. Not just yet. Give it a couple of days and it might set in. $100 reduce or five bandos. I will take the bandos, thank you very much. And do you have any other jobs for me? Anything nearby that I can quickly go and punch out for you? Um, 100 meters away. If you want Old shooter house. No wackers knackers where you're sending me. 
just down to the neighborhood. All right, that's cool bananas, but we're also real quick. You restock tomorrow. Okay, so today's not trade today. Also, Bonds have got a skill point to spend. Have I checked your stuff recently, though? I feel like I have. I feel like I've recognized the mushroom spores seed recipe from the other day. Anything else really going on? What about just like some knowledge? Not really getting knowledge. Not really anything in the secret stash. Uh, well, you know what? While I'm here, I'm not really planning on saving most of this stuff. So you can go, you can go and... Weren't you worth like $500 oh, a second ago? Me, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> Am I losing my mind? I'm pretty sure I said it was worth a lot, of, a lot of money a second ago. But now apparently it's not. So... I don't know, apparently Trader Rex is just up to some skullduggery, as he often is. You can take those. I'll keep that. Actually, if it was worth a thousand dollar reduce, you should just make some mods. That's a great money-making activity. Shit, man. I treat you that yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll quickly go home. I'll drop some stuff off. I do also need to get some wood today, because I need to upgrade from wood to coal. So wood is definitely on the menu too. Murder some zombies and murder some trees. This is the joint chest here. So I pull up out the front. Anything going on around? Not really. My, I need to turn my heater off because it is blowing my flip all over the bloody place. Also, like I noticed today, I really need a shave and I really like get a haircut and stuff. I'm looking a little bit more like uh, like someone who's lived in lockdown for like two years and scarcely gets to go and do some grooming. Also, like still working on some camera settings. So we'll get there. We'll find the right little pocket of settings at some point. But for the moment, ah, it's going all right. Okay. T1 clear. Let's get in. Let's get going. Let's get the old Winchester off. Let's and start popping some noggins. No one there. Probably shouldn't waste the ammo, but bah. It's only 44. 44 is cheap. I'm enjoying myself. All right. Well, that's a little bit interesting. This is a T1 clear with a bloody cop. That's asking quite a lot of me. And also, he's just perfectly around the corner that I can't quite scon him. Just creep. Just creep a little bit. I think I can hear that shot when he leans forward. Like it's freaking, um, what was that movie? Captain, oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, like the SEAL team shoots all the pirates like as they lean forward the boat stops. Oh, I can't remember. Someone tell me what that movie was. I'm sure someone out there knows. He won't though. Whatever he did know is now spat it against the wall in the background. Look at ya. Look at you, you giddy fuck. Oh, and a ScoMo as well. Oh, wow. Look at your new model though. You're definitely looking at how you're going. You also, I mean, I call you a pelican quite often, but not because you had the jangler bit under your jaw. Now you're really impersonating a pelican. Oh, the Winchester was a good idea. It was a good plan. Good use of a skill point, me. While I'm rolling through houses, I kind of want to keep the pistol out because it has more bullets in the magazine than any of my other guns. So if shit really hits the fan, uh, I have some sort of way to defend myself rather rapidly against everyone who's coming for me. No. There you go. Ah, damn it. I was trying to use the shovel with some extra range on it so I could hopefully open that door without them knowing I was here. Who are you? Who are you? Just a bikey boy. That's all right. Come on. Come on. There you go. I'm glad some blows like I'm trying to murder a house. Hit the building that's shuffling towards you. Not the building that's still stuck on its foundations you get. Another eight times scope mod. That's... Rather impressive. That's quite a lot of money uh, to be made out of those ones. So I'm not complaining at all. That's the wrong bloody... I wanted you. I've already been in here. I was just making sure. Jeez, I press shift and click buttons when I don't want to. Then when I do want to, I still fluff it up because... Well, I'm a pelican. I'd get like the waddle under me chin just like ScoMo does. Anyone in here? No, I just like the way the Winchester looks, you know. I just like it. Hopefully one day they'll bring something like that into. That's a gigantic turn too. <laughs> it's putting the wooden club to shame. That is for sure. I love it like the Winchester rifle came into vanilla seven days. Because it's just a it's just a good thing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That the 44 Magnum ammo just doesn't have enough usability. It needs like a vector, like an SMG. It all probably could also stand to use a rifle as well. Some other way to use it. Because it's a bit underutilized at the moment. And it could be really cool. I see that sneaky weapons bag over there. You see it? Do you see what I see? I'm not going to get the weapons that are currently showing in it, but it might have something in it. This looks like the... Oh, oh, oh. That was a big lag spike, but none of the zombies actually spawned up here. So I reckon that was probably a wandering horde that just spawned. So be on the ready for that one, please, Josh. Open that one. See if we can have a squeeze through the door. 
You. That one. That one. And that's everyone. God, I love the Winchester. It's so good to have you back. I got the click of the clear quest being done. So now I know that there's no one here. What a nice little room. I quite like this place. Well, I'll pop you open. I'll pop you open. You are unlocked as well. All the better for me. Loot and gogs are on. Shut my box. What you got? Not a lot, but that's okay. Never expect much of a shadow boss, because if I do, it'll only disappoint me. Impact Racing mod. Can I bang you into that one? No. But you're worth a lot, and also potentially good for me. Do I sacrifice my ravishly purple good looks for the sake of not breaking my ankle? Or do I get some uglier boots? Do I put on some Crocs for the comfort and for the safety of not rolling my ankle? Or do I keep looking swagalicious? I think I should keep up my purple suit looking good because after all, I mean, just because it's the apocalypse doesn't mean I can't meet someone nice. If I met like, if I meet Trader Jen and I cruise up in Crocs, her guards will shoot me in the face. So I need to make sure I'm maintaining my image because you know, just because the world has ended, doesn't mean you can't maintain your standards. I'll sell you, you're worth quite a lot of money. What are you gonna give me? A ratchet, you're better than that one. Thank you very much. And some repair kits. Not too bad, have a squeeze in here for another basal bat, which I can use to repair my other one. Pistol parts. I do want the pistol parts because I want to make myself the P225. That's the next thing on my list. All I need is the bloody receiver and I'm good to go. So I need to find a lathe to make one or just find one in a box somewhere. But that's the dream. I want you before too long. Speaking of P225, I want that weapons bag. I can look dogs on, so yes I do. Hop. Nailed it. What you got for me? Ooh, it's trying to tempt me back to the bowstring. Oh, I see how it is. Shotgun stock, though. So we're one step closer to a pump action stock. I'm just trying to find weapons parts now, which I kind of like. I have missed the, um, like, assembling weapons by finding parts the old school way that 7 days used to do it. It's now just not that way at all. You have, like, the generic part as opposed to receivers and barrels and parts and whatnot. So... I'm not really particularly tempted by you, though, to be perfectly honest. But will you give me bow parts? I think you might. Let's get rid of the cancel if it doesn't. Nope, just gives me polymers. Never bloody mind. All right, well, let's get out of here. Go back to traders and see what reward he has for us. Uh, out of that way. Oh, there was a garage here as well. All right, before we go, check the garage for goodies. Boy, that's a park job and a half. How have you managed that? I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. How the hell did you fit a garbage truck through the door? You're a magician. Whoever owned this house is a goddamn magician. What is inside you? Not a lot. Can I break you down relatively easily? Yeah, okay, you're not particularly strong. What are you gonna give me? Wait, what? Oh, it's just the next phase of it. Okay, I understand. Got an engine and some parts. All right, and now I can also see, <laughs> I can see clearly now the garbage truck is gone. Give me this stuff, give me the loot. This is a good little POI for raiding stuff. Nothing else up in the attic, just a shotgun messiah box. If I can reach it, there you go. And a working stiffs box. Nice, nice. All right, gun store box. No P225 receiver. Some bellows, which, oh no, I did have some back at home, didn't I? And an iron door. All right, I'm sure I can find a use for that at some point. And the rest of this is all done and dusted. All righty dighty, cool bananas. Let's jump back on the bike and head back to tradies. Skirt around the outside, make sure no one's sneaking up on me. No, we are all gravy on that biscuit. Let's get going. Let's go do it. I just need to find... So what do I need? I need a P225, and I need shotgun parts, and I need cobblestone. Oh, no, I have cobblestone. I need wood. Okay, not particularly terrible, actually. I could probably just run a couple of jobs and trades and get some rewards. No, I thought I heard footsteps, but I'm not really hey, me get at a loss for a lot of things. Here you go. More Molotovs, definitely gonna take those ones. Refill my stack. And nothing I really, oh, I'll sell you. Do I sell you? Wait, do I have a skill point to spend? I do, do I put that into better barter? Or now that I'm using rifles actually. I think rifles, I think that's the better choice. Yes. 
Yes, if I'm using the Winchester, may as well spec into it. His next closest job is a buried supplies, which doesn't really get me going in any sort of way. Not pressing any buttons nor revving my engine at all, but I mean, that's not the first Rizzo trader around. That's kind of just your everyday existence. When is the last time you found any button at all to just kind of like haphazardly lock into, let alone actively press? I imagine it's been a hot minute. Anyway, off to the northeast is where, ooh, where the job is. That's not a bad area, actually. That's definitely doable. I need to build myself a dump chest or something. Running inside every time to drop everything off is just taking so much time. While I'm here, actually, let's have a cheeky little gander at what I've got for shotguns. So I have a stock. I have a barrel. What do I need for the rest of it? Pump shotgun. I have that one. I have that one. So I need a receiver and parts. I have a T41 pumpy. That will be a good time. Imagine that, rolling with a Winchester, a baseball bat, and a pump action shotgun. That's about as peak woodle as I'm ever gonna get. If that's the way I die, then I'm gonna be a well-laden corpse, that is for sure. Let's so jump back on the bike and go get that buried supplies done. Some good close quests. I like it. I like it when he gives me tasks I can do with rapid fire. Especially feel like I'm actually achieving something for the day. Here's the joint just here. Oh, I see that dingo out there lurking in the shrubbery. Oh, you cheeky mutt. Dodge the first one, couldn't dodge the second one. Speaking of mutts, Arlene, <laughs> catch you later, set you flying. All right, now I'm just murdering zombies for the sake of it. There is some serious kick behind the Winchester. It is OP as shit and I absolutely adore it. Look at that though. What a way to clear the terrain. Now this is me and a dirty hole in the ground. It's already dealt with Arlene for today. But anyway, uh, southwest, that way. A little while ago, I mentioned that I would love it if there was like a metal detector um, for seven days. I was referring to vanilla seven days. That'd be a really useful thing, I think. But people rightly pointed out that in Darkness Falls, there's the military tablet, which I did use in the, like the playthrough, like the story series, where you can see through um, like blocks. You can see under the ground. So you could just use that as a metal detector. So at some point, I would like to make one. It's a... um. It's a long way away for me at the moment. I need a master scientist or I haven't even started into it yet. So not really anything on the horizon, but definitely a viable option down the track. Although to be honest, by that point, you're not really doing buried supplies quests anymore. So I'm, we'll see how useful it's actually going to be. I've gone all the way south. So we'll just start going west, go out this way. Well, the circle's not really... Um, ha no, I'm going to dig any more blocks. That's is 100% outside the circle game. You're taking the piss. You're absolutely just flopping it out and gushing all over the sidewalk here. You're drenching me goddamn shoes game. That's not even close to being in the circle. You're having a laugh. However, a genuine LAFF, because double F you game. All right, give me that one. And then real quick, what have you got for me? Not much either. Not much either. Oh, also, I probably should have pointed that just then. I did get my, my old mod back that came made for me so that it moves the uh, the loot windows like it hidden behind my face cam anymore. I didn't have it for the first couple episodes, but I have it back now. Sorry it took, uh, it took me so long to remember where it was. There we go. It turns out when you install Darkness Falls again from scratch, you lose all your old mods. Let's just murder all you guys for the sake of it. Get some extra XP. Loz. Catch you later. Chels, catch you later. Oh, I love the Winchester so much. I've forgotten how much I loved it. Back to see Trader Potato. Nothing really to sell you this time because I barely got anything out of the box of gubs in the ground. My luck with our buried things hasn't been great lately. Great. Here you go, mates. I'll, mm, I'll take more first aid bandages because I like, quite like having as many of those as possible. None of these other jobs make me excited, so never mind. I didn't check, though, the first time around. Do you have a P225? Anything? No. Do you have any shotgun? Anything? No. I was hoping we might get lucky, but not today. What about, though, anything else you want to teach me? Teach me apple pie. How much dukes do I have? Got 420. All right. Nice. Well, <laughs> before we get any ideas, teach me how to craft an apple pie, because we're going to get the munchies. And, hmm, no, don't want anything else. I do, like, there are apples relatively easy to get, so uh, having apple pie probably the bad shouts. Okay, never mind. Then I'll see you tomorrow when you restock. But now, what, it's not even five o'clock, and I have the whole rest of the day to faff about and get my base up and going. This is good. 
a morning doing jobs, an afternoon on the tools. We're being so productive today. Look at us go. Although I think before I do anything, I might raid this joint next door. I've been meaning to for a while. Probably a good opportunity to. I'm just kind of going through as fast as I can to get whatever I can. Someone's mad at me about it though. Only sounds like one Jeff though. It's not really too much to worry about. Oh, I see you. I see you all the way out there. Gave me some loot as well. Don't mind if I do. I was going to say, that couldn't have been you, though. You definitely sound like you were much closer than that. Arlene! Good aim. Goodbye. Ooh. That was right through the cherry blossom, wasn't it, sweetheart? Oh, I'm not going to say sorry to you because you wouldn't hear me anyway. There's nothing between your ears anymore. So, what was it in here? Was it a, um... I think it was a shotgun messiah crate, I think. Can I just, like, stick you somewhere so I can use you at all? Yep, that'll do. That'll do. Open up this. Open up that. Open up you. Damn it, come on. What does a boy have to do to find a bloody P225 somewhere? I can't find the P. There's quite a lot of resources in this little POI, so I'm glad that I raided it. Let's grab all of you. No, we're fine. Grab all of you as well. So I do have the schematic now, and I think I have the ability to make myself a uh, cement mixer. I definitely have the ability to make a, a big forge now because I spent the points on it, so I should probably make one of those when I get back home. I have no real use for any forged stuff right about now. I should just have like a supply of both forged steel and forged iron on hand at any given time because I'll probably need it eventually. Well, I definitely will. And rather than making it later, may as well make it now. That's just, that's a smart cricket. So once I've got that going, then I can start focusing just on the wall outside. Sneaky ammo pile. Uh, no, uh, uh, ammo pile. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. There you go. What's in you? <gasps> Oh, baby, yes, that's a P22 fucking five. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We put the thoughts out of the universe enough that eventually the game decided to reward our patience. And, well, I mean, also make me feel better about the fact that I wasted my forge, but whatever. P225, I'm coming for you. We're about to have everything. We're going to have fucking everything. Oh, I can feel it in me giblets. I just love... Just being able to go through, easy as you like. Pop open a couple of doors and see what's going on the other side. No one there. No one there. I mean, ammo is bountiful and plentiful. I don't need to be particularly um, uh, stingy with it. There you are. Um, don't even need to go for headshots. It's fine. I can just cruise around easy as you like and murder anyone I come across without too much worry. I'm really starting to feel good about myself. It's risky. This is when things go wrong. When I start to feel good about myself, that is when the game slaps me back down, back into my place. It gave me the P225, which means it is absolutely going to make me pay with liters and liters of my own bloody blood. Uh, you, working stiffs. Tool and dice set. I didn't have one of those, so thank you very much. It's being too nice. The game's been too nice. Game sus. Oh, something's going to go wrong before long. You watch. Well, we've got working stiffs and a shamway. Shamway's going to give us not a lot. Working stiffs going to give us, oh, a better crowbar. I'll take it home and combine the pair when I get back to my base. Steel arrows, medical supplies, some splints, and shotgun parts. Oh, wasn't to be, though. Some good mods to sell, though. A steel spear that I could also sell, and some sneaky nuggies. I'm happy with that. Bloody happy with that. It's also now 7 p.m., so definitely time for me to get back home and start cracking on. Oh, the doors are unlocked. Sorry about that. Cracking on with my various necessities. Hmm, I'll grab all this stuff first, though. Doesn't take too long. Couple of shots per pop, but I'll want the resources for later. We're all good. We're all good to head home. I've... Hmm... I run out of dinosaurs. That's right. There's nothing in you, so you can just come home with me. Fortunately, I'm right next door. Wow. Thank God that happened right here, not when I was, like, gallivanting away off digging up quests and whatnot. I just ran out of gas in my driveway, so that's pretty bloody convenient. I'll quickly run back downstairs, put some stuff away, and also get some things on the craft. Then I have a couple of hours just to, like, sort out my life. So, okay, let's put everything away first, but I want to make myself... When I saw the P225, I want to make myself the cement mixer. Because look at all the gubs that I got. I've got thousands of concrete waiting in the wings. I need to start mixing it up with some stuff. So the first thing I think I need to make is... Oh, I just punched my mouse and sent it almost off my desk. Thank God there's a cable attached to it. I think I'm going to make two of you. Because that's what... 
four blocks wide. I think from memory, the big forge, like that should fit the big forge rather nicely from the top of my head. So I need stone, clay, leather, duct tape, short iron pipe. So, uh, stone, clay, stone, clay, leather, short iron pipes, and duct tape. Nice. You, into there. Give me... What am I missing? Missing duct tapes? Okay, that's fixable. Give me that. I need to make a couple more duct tapes, which is just glue and cloth fabrics. And all of those can be ducky boys. In you go. And while I'm waiting for that, cement mix. No, it's concrete mixer, isn't it? Not cement. Concrete mixer. Okay. Mixer. It was cement mixer. Did I just not see it the first time? That's highly likely. Forged iron spring engine mechanical parts. Forged iron spring engine mechanical parts. Engine should be in here somewhere. There it is there. Had a spare one lying around. Nice, nice. Wait, actually, before I do that, let's get the other big forge going. So I don't forget. Two big forges. Cement mixer. Why not? Welding torch required you going to this one. Haha, -ha. see, I learned things. I can read. And then last but not least was the P225. Pistol receiver. Pistol parts. I don't have a pistol barrel, do I? I... Mm, or a grip, or... Okay. I'm still missing some things. I might need to come back to that. That's rather unfortunate. I was really excited for a P225, but wasn't to be. But that's why I made some other really good progress, which I am very happy about. You guys can all go away. I need you and all of you... Yes, and then I can put my cement mixer down somewhere, maybe just like there, or maybe I'll get rid of like the water cooler or something that's banging next to that, just so I can start cranking out some concrete, because I'm going to need quite a lot of it. I want my walls to be as strong as possible. I might need to, before long, go and cut down a couple of trees just to have some extra wood, because this is going to take quite a bit, I think. You need to be on that block and facing that way. There you go all along there and then in this corner uh what can i put in the corner actually you're centered you won't work because you go the wrong bloody way yeah you're not quite match up at all that's rather unfortunate what about like uh what else is in here not a pole i need like that but square is there an option for that i would have thought so SCTR, and that's like in the side of the frame. That's not going to help me either. Come on, surely. I'm sure there's a block that fits that description. I'm sure I've used it before. Censored? No. Is this like one of the ones that's like locked into like, oh, geez, there's the nighttime. That's like locked into like wet concrete or something because... What? I... What? What? Ah, oh, it's that one. It's the wood corner block. Okay, I'll grab you and I'll see to get some advanced rotation going on. Up into there. There you go. Don't even need to upgrade ya. Ooh. I see some greeny glowy boys, but that's okay. Nothing the old Winchester can't take care of. Let's go for some headshots, please, Josh. Easy, easy. Don't even need headshots. Shoot him through the lung. He's still gonna go down for the counts. Anyone else around? No, we're looking all sweet and dandy. Cool. So... You and where were you? That one. And we'll just continue this on. I might be to get the backyard done tonight. Uh, backyard. The backyard done tonight. I'm not sure, but we'll see how far we can get before something shows up and interrupts us. What I did do, however, like the absolute muppet that I am. All right. Apparently, she just decided not to go around to the chin, took the hit, and bloody yeeted herself out of existence. Saw all her friends die. Was like, mm, yeah, no, not really feeling that one today. What I did forget to do is bring myself. My nail gun. So that's not particularly clever. Let's just bang on you real quick though. Have to run back inside and get my tools to actually do the upgrades. At the moment, a couple of frames isn't going to especially help me. Put you down. Oh, I love the Winchester. I'm going to keep saying it. Every time I get impressed with it, I'm going to remind everyone of my passionate love affair I have for this long, shiny barrel of glory. Oh, another one there. Shoot you in the dick. Give me some gubs. Don't mind if I do. What have you got for me? You have a nail gun? Save me a trip down to the basement? I'd love it if you did. Uh, no. Ooh. I see ya. 
Get this shit away from my walls. God, it's like a tourist attraction. It's filing past nice and evenly. I suppose this beer room more majestic than Mona Lisa. I kind of understand. There we go. Just get it all up to cobble right off the bat. I don't know if I have enough wood. I only have... Well, 800 is probably enough to get a lot of this done, given it's only, what, like eight per block? So I can do 100 blocks with it? That should be fine. Um... Excuse me. Damn it, that's the wrong block. Why can't... Oh, is this one of those bullshit things where, like, that block doesn't exist in the reinforced wood thing, so I can't actually upgrade you? That's really annoying. Let's make one of you, then. Slightly cheaper downstairs, but whatever. I'll just make one of you now. Oh, I was waiting for it. I had to, like, repair the rest of my tools as well. I don't see movement. Am I losing my mind? Was it a bun rabbit or something? I'm out and about and it's night time. I'm on a little bit of edge. You can't be like throwing movement out of the corner of my eye. That's how you give a man a panic attack. Oh. No? We okay? It was just the one. It was just the one. I told you, I'm on edge. I hear the guns going off in the distance and I assume I'm about to get overrun with a sea of zombies and that's not a particularly great feeling at all. I don't see anything. Oh, I see some things. Oh, I see some things. Oh, I caught that guy through the nipples on the run though. If I can kill some of the ferals, it'll be okay. Actually, this isn't the worst thing in the world because if I can kill some of these clans at night time, there might be like some night stalkers or something out there that will give me some pretty good loot. That's not a terrible idea, Josh. Let's go do some murder. We've got the Winchester. Time to break it in. Don't know why they're all just like... Oh, there's someone else cruising past. Don't know why they're all just kind of like huddling up in the bushes out there. Not what I would expect a Wandering Horde to do. Oh, okay. That could have gone really badly. I think we're okay for the moment. So I'm just going to like finish off my wall. So nothing particularly untoward happens. It's just after midnight. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, okay. They're shuffling. They're figuring out their shit. It's all right. As soon as I know where I am, though, they're all going to come charging because it is night time. So not a great thing. As long as I keep my distance, though, we'll be all right. And as long as the ferals are dead, we'll be okay. I kind of want to try and group them up and use the molly. That's probably not... Oh, my goodness gracious gosh. That's a lot of zombies. They're fighting each other. I'd love some round penetration on that, but that's okay. I'll just keep picking you off from distance. I got more than enough ammo. I'm fine just to go like this. Be the coward I am and just hide in the shrubbery over in my house instead. There's a lot out there with glowy eyes. You know, I might just go like this. It's a bit of a long shot, but I've got mollies to spare. That looks about the right angle. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a very big fucking mistake. I need to get inside the wall. Get inside the wall, Josh. How do they know where I threw that from? There was a random old something spot next to them. They're like, I know exactly where that came from. And oh, I'm going to go fuck that clown up. All right, well, I got a little bit brave. I got a little bit uh, haphazard with my zombie fighting style. I could have just gone stealthy boys Winchester all day long. Instead, I've caused myself an issue. Hold on to that, please. Uh, is there anyone else coming this way? There's some other, there's some other lovers out there just like waiting their time. That's all right. I'll just clear out the rest of these guys then. Don't mind me. Don't mind the rapid gunshots over here. I've got it all covered. That was awful. I'm just trying to get a vantage point to see if there's anyone else left out there for me. It's looking pretty empty. Okay, we're all right. We're all good. Huh. Well, it's now one in the morning, so I need to get back downstairs and wrap this up. But before I do, I need to go and see what the loot that has been dropped will give me. Not, not the bloody chrysanthemum. That's the bad purple die. Scrap you. Mm, actually, I don't want to scrap you. You're worth a bit of money. I'll have to go to trade this tomorrow anyway, so may as well take you with me and sell what I can. If there's any others out here, I've got my pistol locked and loaded and ready to go. It's not quiet, but it'll do the job for me. What's in you? Anything good? No. There's another clown all the way down there. Winchester. Thank you. Always got my back. Does Winnie Blue. What have you got for me? No. How do none of you have any good things? I murdered the sea zombie. Got no reward for it. Yep. Nah, nothing. 
Nothing. So now we know, though, that... I mean, I suppose it is a flaming Molotov. Like, tracers work both ways. COD4 taught me that. So I'm sure they can probably figure it out if... I mean, there's always the super geniuses. I should be able to figure out that they would be able to trace back the arc of a flaming bottle of alcohol back to where it came from. Maybe not my smartest move, but tomorrow, or well, today rather, is Trader Potato Day. So we can go back and see him, get some new quests and sell some stuff. Real quick though, you're both done and you're done. I think that's the right spot for the cement mixer, right? It seems to be. Give it all of you because you're basically full anyway. Uh, how about this one then? Break you down, take all the parts out of you and replace with something more useful. Nice. Uh, that can go away for a second. Give me you. That can just go like that. And then let's have a look at the big forge, actually. Are you going to fit? Do I have to get rid of... I might have to get rid of the shells on top. Are you guys particularly strong or are you reasonably usable? It'll take some time, but it'll break you down. You take all of that back. And can I pick you up? Yes, I can. Waste not, what not. Could always do it with an extra forge, just in case. I kind of want like another fridge to handle all my drinks. This one's probably big enough to handle all of that anyway. So all you guys go into there. Nice and easy. All right, cool bloody bananas then. I'll just spend the night breaking down this. It won't take too long. At least I know that there shouldn't be a horde showing up for the next five minutes. So I should be able to do that in relative peace and quiet. But then I'll have to come back and then tomorrow, go see Trader Potato, sell some stuff, do some more quests. Try and find the rest of my pistol parts or shotgun parts because I am a bee stick away from having a P225 and a pump shotgun. And if I start rolling with that kind of loadouts, come at me. Come at me, zombie hordes. I'll be ready and waiting to go with an itchy bloody trigger, uh, trigger finger. But I'll have to itch that trigger finger in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.